here uh, behind me. They're going to stop any water that is potentially trying to pump through. Everywhere past these sandbags is starting to go underwater, kind of down the road and over that bridge in Stone Juan and Caramel Terrace. And then behind me, you can get a good look here as well. The floodgates obviously closed. Boats coming in earlier. Everybody uh, evacuating off the water. We spoke with some fishermen earlier. Uh, you know, they told us that they're getting prepared and weathering this storm and hanging out on their boats. Uh, you know, Hurricane Ida rolled through here three years ago. Obviously, this, uh, you know, part of Louisiana experienced a lot of damage from that. Uh, they don't seem as concerned about Francine, but they are preparing for the worst as the fire department and sheriff's office both telling us that they have crews and resources ready to go in case they need to get on the road about the wind the water. later down on the road. Uh, just taking a look down here a little further as there's some water uh, right down here that is uh, kind of making its way up into the marsh area as it's just beginning to rise and rise. And then down the bayou as well, the water level's starting to rise, kind of taking over some roadways as well. Uh, we're going to have more here in Montague, but for now, Ethan Tuttle in Montague. Let's go back to you. All right, Ethan, thank you. And you can hear that wind picking up, things deteriorating there in Terrebonne Parish. And it was just whipping around out there. You could hear it. Uh, hey, friends, uh, setting it now for Liz Co. Uh, we appreciate uh, all her efforts today. We'll be here with you for the next several hours as we watch Francine make her way through. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with plenty more coverage, so stay with us.